Hello, I am Brett from Bearded Man Studios, and today I'll be talking about the authoritative RPC, authoritative URPC, RPC, and URPC. So to begin, I'll be talking about the authoritative RPC. The authoritative RPC is a way for you to call an RPC on an object for a specific player. So say you have a list of players in your game, and you want to call an RPC like, let's say, a whisper to that particular user or player and you don't want the other people to receive that data as well to interpret it then the authoritative RPC is a way for the server to send a message to that player on a particular networked object and to have that networked object interpret that RPC and uh, invoke any function that relates to that name as well as any parameters that came with it the authoritative URPC is just an un unreliable RPC that is authoritative. So it's essentially a way for you to funnel information quickly, but you don't care about the packets of getting there. You don't care if they get it or not. So let's say that this is in an edge case that you would put this into uh, networking for an F first person shooter and you have your uh, bullets some reason you're networking it there and you're doing all the logic on every client and you want to remove that logic from the clients and you want to put it on the server so you're unreliably sending this information over and the server is just sending it back it doesn't care if it gets over there or not as it spawns the bullets it just wants uh, the, the client to just interpret the data whatever it, it receives and as a server itself it handles it locally and it just does it instantaneous whereas the client it doesn't really care whether it got its updates or not eventually it will update to the latest as it uh, keeps sending them over the RPC is your basic RPC it's a way for you to just call uh, a function over the network for the other players and pass in any extra parameters as well as telling the receivers to either be the server uh, anyone who joins any uh, any existing people on buffers or everyone else but you or just the server alone you know that's what, pretty much what RPC does the unreliable RPC is pretty much the same as the authoritative RPC except it doesn't do a particular player it just does what the RPC does in the sense that you're able to send it to everyone or others or the server or you know call it yourself if you want or you could just call the function yourself if you want to do that so and but you don't care whether the that information gets there or not as you're gonna send another packet right away or right after it so you're kinda just sending unreliable data but you are sending that data over the network and you're just consistently sending it and you know that it's gonna get eventually updated so that is what the unreliable RPCs are doing as well as the RPCs themselves just making sure that they're called on the other end. Uh, I'm going to do an example for each. Uh, I'll leave the unreliable RPCs uh, alone because it's pretty much the same logic. Um, so yeah, uh, let's do the authoritative. So let's say I want to call an authoritative RPC on this and let's say I'm the server and let's say client 2 joins I want to make sure I call this RPC for the client 2 but not for client 3 so I would say private void test uh, debug log client 1 so uh, let's do my check here owning player network ID equals uh, one because I don't want to be the server then I know that this is the first player but I also want to do is um, check if I'm the server so networking uh, primary socket is server if I am the server then I want to do an authoritative RPC to this and say authoritative, not unreliable, but RPC. Um, I want to call test, and I want the socket to just be owning networker, uh, the networking player, um, owning player. Do I want it to run on a server? Yeah, sure, that's fine. 
and I want the server to just call this authoritative RPC only on the first client that joins, but it won't do it for the other clients and they won't receive this information. Um, so yeah, that's uh, a way for you to send an authoritative RPC to it and only send it to that particular player, not send it to uh, anyone else but him. And then there's the regular RPC that you have seen in the previous tutorials and I can also pass in additional parameters of like receivers so I can say others, others buffered, others proximity, owner, server, server and owner, uh, all buffered and all proximity or all. So uh, let's just say I just want to send it to the server. So I want the server to say, uh, let's just copy paste, server. So the network start will always call this RPC. Uh, no matter how many clients are going in, they're always going to keep calling server, and they're all going to RPC this call to it. And then if it is the network ID is matching uh, one, or at least for the owning player, then I'll do an authoritative RPC on it and calling test. And it'll tell me, oh, hey, this is the first client that actually joined the game as the player, and it will do that for that player. And that is it. That's how you do an authoritative RPC and a regular RPC. And the uh, URPC, I can just copy and paste, and it does the same thing. And just know that it will either get there or not. And same with the authoritative, it either gets there or it doesn't. You don't really care. You just want to kind of just quick fire that function over and uh, mostly used for first person shooters or if you're consistently sending a lot of data and you just want to have the you know some little bits of information instead of the whole data itself and you don't care if it gets there as long as enough information consistently gets there that is when you would probably use the unreliable but I mean it's game by game basis as well as app by app basis and I hope that this has been helpful if you have any comments please do leave them down below or any other questions feel free to ask us over email or talk to us on our epic join or over slack if you have purchased forge networking and thanks for watching